welcome. This is Further Solutions Academy. Please do well to subscribe to our YouTube channel before you view this video or after viewing the video, just ensure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel. And in this video, I will be taking you through the concept of homologous series under organic chemistry. The concept of homologous series under organic chemistry. Before we move further, it would be nice or advisable to understand what homologous series is about. But I will tell you that this is a foundation or a basis also at which organic compounds are formed. More or less like the root of organic chemistry itself. Because for every organic compound you see, there happen to be a root where it is coming from. And it is from this homologous series. So what is homologous series? Homologous series is defined as the family of organic compounds that follows a regular structural pattern. A family of organic compounds that follows a regular structural pattern in which each successive member differ by a CH2 group. In which each successive member differ by a CH2 group. Like I said, homologous series is a family. A family of organic compound. A family of organic compound. A family of organic compound that follows a regular structural pattern. I want us to look at the keywords there. Follows a regular structural pattern. A regular structural pattern by which each successive member differs by a CH2 group. Now, this determines the chemical characteristics of the group. They share similar, similar chemical characteristics together. The members of the group share similar chemical characteristics. So again, homologous series is the family of organic compound that follows a regular structural pattern by which each successive member differ by a CH2 group and they also have similar chemical characteristics. Similar chemical characteristics. Now, this are just the key point to note when defining homologous series. Now, in this video, I will be walking you through few of the homologous series for this video. And we will be starting with the popular family of the homologous series, which is the alkane. The alkane. The alkane is a single bond on the single a single bond saturated hydrocarbon. What do I mean by single bond saturated hydrocarbon? A family that has just single bonds in it. An organic compound with just single bonds in it. And it is the formula or the molecular formula for this family is given as CnH2n plus 2. CnH2n plus 2. And the functional group is this single bond. That will lead us to what a functional group is. A functional group is an atom or a group of atoms that determines the chemical characteristics of an organic compound. Again, a functional group is an atom. It could be an atom, it could be oxygen, it could be nitrogen, like we have in our meats, like we have in nitrous. 
that determines the chemical characteristics of that organic compound. So the functional group of alkane is the single bond. And the formula for alkane family is CnH2n plus 2. In all, some other places, the, function, the formula is given as RH. As RH. And R, where R? Is given as CN H2N plus 1. And R can also be traced or be called the alkyl group. The alkyl group. An alkyl group have this formula as their own formula, which is CN H2N plus 1. Where n is the number of that atoms? n equals the number of that atom. So let's say for, for carbon, we have one. And for hydrogen, we also have one. So for us to get the structure in that situation, we have C1, H2 into bracket 1, plus 2. This will give us C H two plus two, which is give, which will give us C H four. So we can say that the first member of the alkane family or homologous series of the alkane family is known as methane because this is the family of the alkane. So the root name of each successive member carries the suffix a n e carries the suffix a n e and like i said with respect to the number of carbon atoms it gives you the name of the compound as well as the formula of the compound because the number of the carbon atoms will determine the the formula that that um, member will actually have now Methane is represented when we have just one carbon atom, where C equals to 1, where C equals to 1, it is known as met. So because it is the alkane family, and like I said, each member has the suffix A-N-E, each member has the suffix A-N-E, so this becomes methane. When C equals 2, it becomes F. When it becomes 3, it becomes trope. When it becomes 4, it becomes boot. Now, let's just add the suffix because of the family they belong to, which is A-N-E, A-N-E, A-N-E. So when we have carbon number one, when we have carbon number one, putting it into the formula like we did earlier, we have CH4. It will be realized that if we put carbon number two into this formula, we have C2, H2 into bracket two plus two. That will give us C2, H6. If we do likewise for when carbon is three, We are going to have C3, H2 times 3, 6, plus 2, that is 8. And for the butane, where carbon number is 4, we have 2 into bracket 4 plus 2. That will give us C4, H10. Now, this is the rate at which it goes. So maybe we should do the one for when C equals 5. That is called pent. When it is six, it is called X. That is pentane, exane, seven, eptane, seven, eptane, and eight is octane, and nine, nonane, then ten is decane. So if we follow this particular formula, and we put in the right number of our carbon atom, 
we would see that we'll keep deriving the formula for each of the family. And now, let us confirm what we said on the homologous series. We said it is a family. Now, this is a family of the alkane family. We see they have the A and E suffix, each of them. Now, that follows a regular structural pattern. All of them are following a pattern because they have a formula. Now, in which each successive member differ by a CH2 group. If we subtract the second member of this family from the first member of the family, the first member is CH4, the second member is C2H6. Now, if we should subtract this from this, we have C2 minus C, that will give us a C. Then, 6 hydrogen minus 4 hydrogen, we have 2 hydrogen which is confirming the definition as before mentioned that each member differ by CH2. Let's confirm between butane and propane. Carbon number 4 minus carbon number 3, we have 1 carbon, then 8 hydrogen minus 6 hydrogen, no, 10 hydrogen minus 8 hydrogen, we have 2. So we have confirmed that homologous series, all of them differ by what? A CH2 group. And that is just what the homologous series on is on, on the family of the alkane. On the family of the alkane. Later, we will be discussing extensively the properties and the physical and chemical properties, as well as some of the reactions that alkane can undergo. Some of the reactions that alkane can undergo. Let's go to another member or another family in the homologous series, which is the alkene family. The alkene family. Alkene family. The alkene family functional group is double bond. And the formula of this alkene family is given as CnH2n. CnH2n. So, having known this, there is a particular thing that we should know on this alkene family. Under the alkene family, the first member of the alkene family, because of the presence of double bonds, it is not methane. Met is not the first member of the alkene family because of the presence of double bond, meaning double bonds exist between a carbon and a carbon atom. And if you have checked through one of our videos, you would have seen where we discussed on hybridization which is the concept at which this double bond is coming from. So please do well to go through some of our videos and check on hybridization. Now, this double bond is traceable to hybridization where we have two carbon atoms coming together to form a single bond and a pi bond. Now, because of these two carbon atoms coming together, it means automatically the first member of the alkene family as the carbon number of two, not one. So we do not have what is called methane. It is not possible. So having the first member to be ethane, because like I said earlier, I said when we deal with carbon number two, we are referring to eth. Then we just put the suffix of the name or the family, which is E-N-E. -E. So we have what? Ethane. Putting the, the number of carbon atoms into the formula, we have C2H2 into bracket 2. This will give us C2H4 as a structure of ethene. Likewise, when C equals to 3, we said the, the um, name for 3 is prop. Now let's just put in the suffix from the name, which is ENE, -E, propene. So propane becomes C3H2 into bracket 3, which is what? C3H6. 
Likewise, if we should move further, but let me do when C equals to 9. That is what? Noni. Now, in Noni, we have C9, H2 into bracket 9. To give us what? C9, H18. As so on and so forth, we can continue with respect to our number of carbon atoms. Now, let's confirm what we did earlier in the alkane family by confirming if the definition of homologous series holds for this particular compound. Which is what? It says that they differ by a CH2 group. Now, C3 minus C2, we have one carbon atom. Six hydrogen minus four hydrogen, we have two hydrogen. So, the definition of homologous series really holds for each of the members differing by what? A CH2 group. It's a family of organic compound. So that is that on the alkene family. In our next video, we will be talking extensively on most of these families. Please do well to follow us and continue with us so you would have an extensive knowledge on each of the families. So the third family we'll be talking about is similar, and that is the alkyne. The alkyne family. This is the root, the root name of alkyne family. Now, because of this purpose, we have the triple bond as the functional group of this family. And also for us to understand this, we need to understand or go to the videos where we talked on SP hybridization. Why or the reason for the triple bond of carbon to carbon on the alkyne family. In the alkyne family. Now, the formula for the alkyne family is giving us Cn, H2n minus 2. Now, this is entirely different. But we really need to understand we really need to understand each of these formulas so we will not make an error. We need to understand the formulas of each of them because they have a particular and specific formula. We have a, they have a particular and specific formula. They have a particular and specific formula. So we need to watch out for this formula so as not to create a blunder or a mistake. Now, because of the concept of hybridization also, having triple bonds, now we see that we really need to have our fundamental knowledge on this before we can go into homologous series. And that is why a video on hybridization has been done. So, carbon to carbon atoms, two carbon atoms were involved in this formation of this structure. And because two carbon atoms were involved, we would be having the first member of the alkyne family to be also be carbon number equals to two. Please do not say because it is three bond, we have the first member as three. No, it doesn't work that way. That's why we need to understand where all of this is coming from, the hybridization of carbon. Now, because of this reason, it is impossible to have what we call methane. It doesn't exist. So, having the first member as carbon equals to 2, like before mentioned, when we have carbon equals to 2, we are talking about the earth. So, let's bring in back this root name, which is what? A time. So, substituting the number of carbon into the equation, we have what? C2, H2 into bracket 2, minus 2. So, we are going to have C2, H4, minus 2, which will give us C2, H2, as the first member of the alkyne family. And the structure of the alkyne is C2 giving us this. So let's try about two more members before we move further. 
So another member of the alkyl family, he, no, another uh, member is when we have our carbon number equals to three. So we have this to be what? Propyne. Propyne. Prop for three. And I form the root name of the family or the homologous series. So the formula for this is giving us C3, H23, into bracket 3 minus 2. So this is C3, H6 minus 2, 4. So this is the structure or the formula for propyne. And it is drawn as this. Three carbon atoms, one hydrogen, another hydrogen, another hydrogen, and another hydrogen. I'm sure, I'm sure we may be looking at why isn't there an hydrogen on these two carbon atoms, or why can't I add more? This is due to a rule or the ability of carbon that exhibits or the fact that carbon shows tetravalency. Me, what is the meaning of tetravalency? From the electronic configuration of carbon, it is known that carbon has just four electrons on its outermost shell. So, if it has four electrons on its valence shell, it can only take four bonds. Four bonds. It cannot take more than four bonds. That is why this hydrogen is not added to this place. So, let's just confirm that tetravalency. This carbon atom has one, two, three, four bond. This carbon atom has one, two, three, four bond. And this carbon atom has one, two, three, four bonds. So we must be careful with our number of bonds when drawing the structures of some of this family. Make sure that your structure does not break the law of tetravalency for carbon. So let's just talk about one more member of the alkyne family. When C equals to 5, that would be what? Pent. So we'll be having pentine. That will be giving us C5, H, 5 times 2, 10 minus 2. That will be 8. Or should we just do that out? That will be C5, H, 2, 5, minus 2. H, 2, 5, minus 2. So this will give us C5, H, 5 times 2, 10 minus 2, 8, as written earlier. So, let's confirm the CH2 difference also in this family. We realize that, okay, let's work with, you know, they are successive members, so we cannot pick 5 and 3, because there's already a missing link of C equals 4. So, using C3 and C2, this and this, Carbon 3 minus carbon 2, we have just one carbon left. 4 hydrogen minus 2 hydrogen, we have 2 hydrogen. So you see that it stands valid that the definition of homologous series that each member differ by a CH2 group is right and correct. So that is that on the alkyne family. We are getting advanced into other higher members of the homologous series. And that is the how the alcohols or alkanols, alkanols, or popularly called the alcohols. <coughs> now, the alcohols or the alkanols is a step higher than what we have mentioned earlier. So the functional group of this family is the OH present. And the formula of this family is CN H2N plus 1 OH. From what I said earlier on the alkane family, it is known that this particular formula belongs to a family, which is what? The alkyl family. And if alkyl family is designated as what? R. The first member of the alkyl family is designated as R. So in some other places, you may see that the formula of alkanol is what? ROH. Where R is CN H2N plus 1. Now, for the alkanol family, 
because we don't have double bonds in it, the first member of the alkanol family can actually be methanol. Meaning, met when carbon equals to one with our hydrogen. So, when carbon equals one, let's put it into the equation. We have C1, H2 into bracket one plus one, OH. So, this gives us C, H, two times one, two plus one, three, OH. So, in other words, this can be given as CH4O. But this particular formula stands for those who have a deeper knowledge of these structures. So that you don't make mistakes, it's advisable you follow this pattern and leave it at this. But when drawing your structure, you can remember not to break the tetravalency of carbon so you know exactly what to do when using this structure. So the structure of methanol becomes C, hydrogen, 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 OH. Now, this is the structure of methanol. And from we all know, methanol is a very, very useful solvent in so many domestic things like the methylated spirits we use the methylated spirit we use it comes from the family of the alkanol and also the second member of this family when c equals to two when c equals to two we will be talking about the earth but the root member ethanol so, ethanol is given as C2 H2 minus two, H2 into bracket 2 plus 1 OH. So, this is C2 H2 times 2, 4 plus 1, 5 OH. And the structure for these two carbon atoms hydrogen, hydrogen. Hydrogen, 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 five hydrogen, one, two, three, four, five, then OH. Mind you, your OH can be here and it can also be written in this manner as long as they are <coughs> on this carbon. Extensively, when we talk about alkanol, we will be talking about terminal alkanols and non-terminal alkanols, where we have our OH at the last carbon, because if we have a member that is greater than this, we may have our OH not at the terminal level. But when we talk on alkanol, we will go extensively on that. So ethanol is also a useful solvent in the laboratory that is used for various synthesis, as well as with crystallization process and other activities in the chemistry laboratory and even used largely industrially so that is the second member of the alkanol family the alkanol family and on this note i will be moving to another family of the homologous series which is known as the alkanals another name for the alkanals is aldehyde So, they are given by the functional group CHO. And the formula for aldehyde is RCHO. Now, this is just to test our knowledge on if we know what the value of R means. We know fully well that the value of R is what? CN H2N plus 1. So, it can be said that this is CN H2N plus 1 CHO. So, the, because there is just single bond in this compound, so we can say that the first member, we can have carbon equals to 1, which is methanol. Which is methanol. When carbon equals to 1, 
So putting it into the formula, we have C1, H2, 1, plus 1, CHO. This gives us CH3, CHO. So this is methanol. The first member of the alkanal family. Or it is also called methaldehyde. 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 Remember, it's more or less like saying this is the root, or these are the root name for each successive member. So if we have carbon equals to 2, we'll be having C2. H5CHO, where this is ethanol. Or ethanol dehyde. Or ethanol dehyde as the name of these compounds. So these are the members or successive members of the alkanal family. So another member of the homologous series that we'll talk about is the carboxylic acids or the alkanoic acids the alkanoic acids their formula of functional group like i said a functional group which i defined earlier is an atom or group of atoms that determines the chemical properties of an organic compound so it could be an atom like it could be an atom like nitrogen or it could be a group of atoms like OH or like um, COOH. Or it could be a radical like OH that determines the presence of this functional group shows the chemical characteristics of each of this series. So when we have the functional group for alkanoic acid, we have COOH. And the formula is given by RC. O O H, where R is what C N H two N plus one C O O H C N H two N plus one C O O H, and like I said earlier, the first member of this we might be talking about is methanoic acid. Another name for methanoic acid is called formic acid where we have our carbon equals to one so we will be having c h3 c o o no we will be having h the formula for um, metalloid acid is h c o o h h c o o h for metalloid acid HCOOH. Now, if we are to explain or talk fully well on the formula or how this is derived, there may be another formula where we have to use for this particular family. Especially families where you have the C part of the function, where you have another carbon as part of the functional group as part of the functional group so there is an anomaly that may occur in the alkanoic acids and this is actually saying the first member is methanoic acid but the anomaly shows that from this particular family or this particular member the first family is when C equals to zero. Is when C equals to zero, not when C equals to one. So we need to watch that very clearly. So if we have our C equals to zero, we have C zero, H two zero plus one. Then C O O H. Please mind you. Our N is the number of carbon atoms. The N is the number of carbon atoms. So if our C equals to zero, it means this is living. Then we have H0 plus 1, COOH, which will leave us with H1, 
C O O H. And another name for this is formic acid. So we see that there's a kind of anomaly or um, a there's a kind of anomaly in the alkanoic acid because the first member is when C equals to zero using this formula. <coughs> using this formula. Although for this video, I may want to enlighten you on another formula that some use when talking about alkanoic acid. Another formula that some use when talking about alkanoic acid, which holds for when n equals when c equals to one. So per adventure, you want to use c equals to one. You want to use c equals to one. The formula you will be using is not the conventional formula, but rather you will be using c n minus one h into bracket h two into bracket n minus one plus one c o o h. Now, if I want to use this formula, I can use my c equals one as my first member, because why? At the end of the day, I will be having c one minus one h2 1 minus 1 plus 1 c o o h it's just a manipulation of formula so at the end of the day i am still going back to what i had earlier to use my c equals to 1 so it means when i want to use c equals to 1 i use this formula and not the conventional c n h2 n plus 1 c o o h because for this formula for alkanoic acid the first member is C equals zero, methanoic acid. But to use my C equals one as T methanoic acid, I use this formula. So I will still derive the same thing, which is what? C zero, H two zero plus one, C O O H. So I will be having what? This going out, then H two times zero, zero plus one, one, that's just one H, C O O H, which is still taking us back to what we had earlier using this formula so with respect to the number of carbon atoms as well as the name you are concerned about so whichever formula you use holds for it let's just do this before we close so using the second member so i would be doing tabulating this for us to have a better understanding using CnH2n plus 1 COOH or Cn minus 1 H2 into bracket n minus 1 plus 1 COOH so this follows the normal conventional carbon equals to 1 carbon equals to 2 carbon equals to 3 but this goes a step backwards that your first member must be carbon equals to 0 so if previously we have used Net to be zero for this formula, so it means our air to be carbon equals one. We'll be holding for a thing, yeah. And this will be leaving us with C1 H21 plus one COOH, which is CH3 COOH, ethanoic acid, brother, ethanoic acid, ethanoic acid. The acidity is coming from this functional group. So, if I'm to use this, it means I'm using the conventional normal pattern, which means F should stand for 2, right? So, this is C equals 2. Putting this, I have C 2 minus 1, H 2, 2 minus 1, C O O H. So, this is what? C 2 minus 1, 1, H 2, 2 minus 1, 2 into bracket 1, plus 1. Sorry for that. Plus one. Plus one C O O H. So this leaves me with what? One carbon. Two plus one C H three C O O H. So you see that we are still deriving at the same thing, depending on the formula you use. So be careful of the formula you attach. Or you are about to use with respect to your number of carbon atom when deriving the members of the alkanoic acids. 
and we will be stopping here for today please do not forget to subscribe to our youtube channel as you view this on further solutions academy thank you